we are going to do a dream catcher making it's simple and very easy we are going to use few materials that you can find inside the house so you need some paper plate so i'm using paper plate it's very easy so what i will be doing i'm using acrylic paint and acrylic paint and a paper plate few threads or yarns like that way and we will start our project first you have to do you have to cut inside here and look make it like this way so you need a circle around it so in the middle part you don't need but first you have to do take some paint any paint that you like you can color it what i will be doing is i will color around it don't do anything in the middle part we will be cutting and removing it So I'm going to use a little bit white color and a little bit purple color because that is something very nice with the colors. Only the edge I will do, not anything in the middle because we will cut and throw the middle. So I'm holding the paper plate because it don't need to move. If you like you can paint it if you don't like you can sponge it or you can do the splash like this way so it's a very much more easy and nice different effect and I will add a little bit if you have glitter please use a little bit glitter it's much more nicer Once you color around it, it should be look like this way. Very simple. Don't color the middle because we will cut it and remove it. So this is not dry. So I will keep this one in the side and I have already a dry one prepared in a side if you can see. I cut the middle part. So next I have to do is I have to mark the areas that where I will make a hole so you can put the thread. So first I will make a hole in the top here with the puncher. So this part will be for the hanging like putting a, something here. And then, then I need three holes in the below. One, two, three in the side. So I put one here, one here, one here, just to hang some. And the middle, I will make few holes again. Not too much, like six or seven, something like that way. One here, one here. Randomly, you can do it. You don't have any, don't think about rules or anything because you're just enjoying this thing. Alright, so I'm going to make like eight holes. Right, this way. So I make eight holes around it. If you see from here, you can see all the holes around it. So I made one hole here. So this is the part I will hang it in the wall, and there's three holes separately in the below. Again, eight holes around the middle. So what I will do is, I will use the yarn. I will go inside around here. Just go through the holes like opposite way. If you put one hole from here and you will do pull it out from the opposite side.
You can see it's almost done. It should be look like this way from the middle. Once you finish, it should be look like this way. So now you need to put a thread around in this part. I have these feathers. I put, I use a thread. I put a feather and two beads and I hang it in the below. Remember I said to make three holes in the below. So we will use that one for this. Remember, sometimes paper plates are not so hard, so you can use two paper plates together and glue it before you paint or anything. If not, sometimes paper plates are coming like bending once you put the paint. So you can use two paper plates together and use it. I have three feathers if you don't have feathers you can always use papers and cut the design of feather it should be look like a paddle and then you can cut from the sides and you can use as a feather I hang these three in the base side if you see oh, oh. okay now I will put one in the top also so I have some beads I made it so I'm going to do is put a knot in the top so you can hang it on the wall window anywhere that you like should be look like this way if you see my one is little bit bigger so I'm going to show you so like that you can cut the extra fabric pieces or thread pieces if you like so the simple way to do is first take a plate color the plate cut the middle part of the plate exactly middle and make eight holes in the middle and three in the below and one in the top here so this is the part you will hang in the wall and these are the parts you will put the feathers and the middle yarns you can just play around like a cross cross opposite way just play around so it will be much more nice and beautiful you can hang it like that in case if you don't have the feathers as i said to you you can always go ahead and use pom poms it's much more nice you can make some pom poms on hand and you can cut paper feathers you can cut, take a colored paper and cut feathers and hang it so I hope you guys enjoyed today's project. It's very simple and the materials you can always find inside the house. You don't need to go shopping. So see you tomorrow with a new project. Thank you for watching me. So once you make your plate, you can do is use some 3D liners and decorate it because this is a very beautiful dream catcher. You can make nice patterns out of it. So I'm using 3D liner, you can use buttons or glitter, anything to decorate it. Just put some nice designs. So, and have some beautiful buttons. I have these two glitter star flower and a butterfly so I will stick that one also it will be looking nice if you, you don't have anything to decorate you can always use some nice flowers cut from papers you can use it I have this nice beautiful buttons blue color I will stick those now it's perfectly done it's very easy for you to 
hang it in a window. It looks so nice. Thank you so much.